I have an idea for making home audio systems even better. Not long ago, I posted uh, an opinion about why I felt it was more important that audio manufacturers came up with a better standard for their volume levels. Uh, for example, in my car, if you were to crank the volume to 30, it would be blowing your ears out. But 30 on a television in your house would probably not be very loud in some houses because they might be on a scale of 1 to 100. So there's no scale. Some, some peak at 50, some peak at 20, some peak at 10, increments of 10. So here, here's a step in the right direction. Here's a more concrete way that I think audio systems should be, at least as far as home theater systems and something that you would actually use uh, you know, in your house, because cars and headsets are a little harder to, to nail down. But here's how they should improve audio systems for your home. And preferably, what we're talking about here is home theater, where you essentially have your couch, your TV, and, and maybe some surround systems. My idea is that when, a, when you buy a home theater-based system, it should have an objective sound. And, and by objective, I'm saying it should come not just with a series of speakers that plug into an amp, but a, a series of sensors, possibly Bluetooth sensors, maybe uh, even some sort of a way of interacting with your phone your, through Bluetooth. But that's, that's just extending it a little beyond that. But what I'm talking about is a system where there are actual sensors that you strategically place in the room. For example, you can optimize your stereo for the place you're sitting. So you put a sensor there, and at that particular spot, you should be able to put that sensor there, and without doing much more than pushing a button, the speaker system should be able to calibrate itself for the room. Now, what do I mean by calibration? Well, two things should happen. First, it should adjust the volume levels so that they actually are realistic for that room. So, for example, if you have a small room with very little furniture, the sound is going to be drastically different from a large room with a lot of furniture or, you know, any combinations of furniture and room size and ceiling height and things like that. They give you a drastically different sound. So, on one level, it should be able to, uh, if you have five speakers, <coughs> Acoustically figure out that maybe if that if that sound system has a button to calibrate that it would recognize that the fourth speaker on the left is not as prominent as it should be because the one on the right is, is the, the wall is closer. So the system should be able to calibrate all of the speakers. If you've got a 5.1 sound, that means essentially you've got five speakers, a center, two front, two back, and the subwoofer. It should be able to calibrate so that each of those four and the fifth are equal to what they should be for a properly calibrated uh, setting. So you'd be able to hear the sound the way it was intended. So the first thing is the volume adjustments on all of the speakers should be calibrated based on that. And then secondarily, uh, it would be the equalization. So it can meet a certain standard. If, if it expects a certain level of sound, and because of the amount of ro uh, room, the amount of space in the room, the furniture, the acoustics of the room, the, the, whatever resonating you're getting from echoes, it should be able to also fine tune that. Now, it's not hard for them to do that. All they need is essentially a button to calibrate, a speaker, uh, excuse me, a microphone or sensor that picks up the sounds and then determines which ones came from which. All they need to do is send a specific frequency through each of the 5.1 channels, then they measure to see how much of it is received, both on a volume level and on a frequency level, and then you'd be able to have a beautifully calibrated speaker system. Now, I I'm sure, because I, if I can come up with an idea like this, that there obviously some inventors have already done things like this. In fact, from what I understand, uh, George Lucas was instrumental in creating a THX standard for theaters, and they had to meet certain specifications there. But on, on a more consumer level, you really don't see that sort of thing. And as far as I'm concerned, it's not that difficult to do. So there should be uh, a very consumer level way of doing this, I mean, if you're going to spend $500 or $600 on a speaker system, it's not that difficult for them to come up with a very simple reference pattern of sound and a little microphone and maybe a remote, if, if it's going to be Bluetooth, to do the sound, or maybe even just a wire. You only run it when you need it to first calibrate it when you set it up. But I think that it would be a great option, and it's uh, today's idea of the day. So that's it. That's today's idea of the day. Yeah, yeah, some of them are better, I got to admit. But if you really want to see a new idea each day, some of them are going to be good. 
Some of them are going to suck. What are you going to do? Subscribe and visit ideatheday.com.